Indeed, there will be great joy when all the workers gather home. Maybe you may want to turn to the person next to you, ask him or her, are you among the workers? I praise the Lord this Sabbath because the Bible tells us, let everyone who has breath do what? Praise the Lord. And we just came to praise his holy name. Now, after you have accepted to be involved in totally beyond all the limits in his mission, and after you have purpose in your heart to give your resources to make the mission of God be accomplished, what else is left for you that the Lord to say, well done, faithful servant? And I can't wait to see that day when Jesus comes in the clouds. And everyone who has engaged themselves in the mission of God will be given a privilege to eternally fellowship with him. And I saw as I was sitting here this morning and listening and watching and following through this experience of worship, I was just wondering how beautiful, how beautiful, The music is Sabbath in heaven. We we'll look like. And, and what came to my mind is, is a text that Paul challenges me. And I'm, I'm still struggling with it this morning. And just come with me as we try to appreciate what is Paul saying. In 2 Corinthians, because I, 1 Corinthians, brother, I went and was like, no, Paul, what are you talking about? Chapter 2, verse number 9. No, Paul says, but as it is written... The eye has not seen, nor the ear has heard, nor have entered into the mind, finished with me, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Can somebody say amen? And I would just sit in here and I'm going, Paul, are you serious? The eyes have not seen? I think today I have seen the beauty in the sanctuary. And I sat there and, and I looked at the beautiful choir here and members sitting here. I can attest today there is beauty in the sanctuary. Then Paul says, the eye has no seen. And I wonder, how will it look like? How will the choir in heaven look like? I wonder when Paul says, the ear has not heard. And I have sat here since morning and I can attest I have listened to one of the most beautiful songs in the universe. But Paul tells me, Pastor, you have not heard a thing. Something is awaiting for you. And then I ask myself, what's going to stop me from having that experience in heaven? What's going to stop me from having that experience in heaven? You know, as I was searching through, why would Paul say we have not seen, we have not heard, neither has it come into our minds, the beauty of heaven. And I was struggling to appreciate that based on what I see today, I stumbled on a text from the pen of inspiration that, that told me, Pastor, you've got to trust the scriptures. Don't entertain doubt of the scriptures. What well, the Lord speaks, it is true, and amen. And I, uh, she wrote and says, uh, one day she was given a vision, L.A.G. was given a vision to see the music in heaven. And that's what she had to say. I have been shown the order, the perfect order of heaven. And you know, I saw as the choir was marching in and the kind of order today and precision and everything, I said, my, there is nothing like this anywhere. But then she tells me, I have been shown <laughs> the, the, the perfect order of heaven. And I've been enraptured as I listen to the perfect music film. And after coming out of vision, mm, 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 you don't want to listen to this this morning. She says, and after coming out of the vision, the singing here uh, in Central Church, the singing here has sounded very harsh. No, no, God have mercy. The, the singing here has sounded so with the discord. I have seen companies of angels who stood in a whole square, everyone having a harp of gold. At the end of the harp was an instrument turned to turn to set the harp of or change the tunes. The, their fingers did not sweep over the strings carelessly, but they touched different strings 
<laughs> to produce different sounds. There is one angel who always leads, who first touches the harp and strikes the note, that then all join in the rich, perfect music of heaven. Can you say amen? And I said, yes, I agree with Paul. The eye has not seen. Can you say amen? The ears have not heard, and I can't wait to be in the number. This morning, my heart is, is inclined to love Jesus. This morning, my heart is inclined to say, Jesus, I have chosen to follow you. Uh, and I want to challenge you this morning. Because as I see through the scriptures, there is nothing that stops you from enjoying the music in heaven. The only thing you need to do to accept to be in the fellowship with Jesus. And he says, come to me. Oh, who? A heavy laden who are struggling with the economic turmoil of the day and political issues who are struggling, come to me and I shall give you rest. Can you say amen? You say, just come to me. Because I know there are beautiful things that I have kept for you. This music experience in the sanctuary today and the reality of what I see in the scriptures at the pen of inspiration entices my heart and nerve to go out for Jesus. And I want to request somebody this morning and challenge you. Won't you not accept to come to Jesus? Won't you not accept to surrender your life unto Jesus? What is it that can stop you from enjoying the music that we see will be in heaven? I hear Devin saying in Psalms 42, verse number 2, My soul thirst for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? And I can't wait for that beautiful, glorious morning when the clowns shall part and Jesus shall appear. The Bible tells me as we get to heaven, we shall all sing and shout the victory. What a day of rejoicing shall it be. I choose to be in the number. Do you? I choose to sing in that choir. I can't wait that, that day, Brother Steve. And me, we shall be equal. <laughs> that day, those of you sitting there and those of you sitting here, we shall be equal. That day, the choir master will be the one chosen by Jesus. The one who has been leading the angelic choir in heaven. That day, I want just to see the countenance of God as he received the blood of angels and human beings redeemed as he listens to the music. I want to see his countenance and say, Jesus, God, this is what you experience when we sing to you. I want to tell him, Jesus, thank you for saving me. Who not you not choose to be in that fellowship? That is your prayer. I request you to stand as I pray. Gracious Father in heaven, what a day of rejoicing shall it be when we all see Jesus. The eye has not seen the ear has not heard. Neither said, come to mind the things you've prepared for us, even that beautiful Sabbath music in heaven. We can't wait to be the number. Lord, bless us and accept our decision this morning to come to you, to surrender to you, and to choose you, to partner with you, and to seek eternity, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.